I know what your problem is. You are tired of the Amazon Prime video not working with a VPN and the HTTP proxy error ruining your day. I've been there and I've found a solution. In this video, I will explain how to fix this error and regain your access to Amazon Prime back. Let's get one thing out of the way first. Why is Amazon Prime not working and why does a HTTP proxy error occur? One of the reasons is that you might be using a free VPN. Those rarely have proper streaming support and just lack components necessary to bypass the Amazon Prime VPN block. I mean, sure, you might still get an HTTP proxy error with a premium VPN provider. There's just one difference. If you are using a premium VPN, the issue is actually solvable. If you don't have a suitable provider yet, I've prepared discounts for my top picks in the description below. I will comment on them a bit later, though for now, let's get to troubleshooting. One of the common reasons behind Amazon Prime Video not working with a VPN is server blacklisting. When you're using a VPN, it masks your own IP with an IP belonging to a VPN service, but too many users use the same IP address. Amazon can blacklist it and make it harder to access their platform. So you might need to reconnect multiple times to get a working IP address or even change a location. However, there are cases when that wouldn't work. For instance, your browser already has your IP cookies and location data saved. In that case, if you log into Amazon with an IP from a different country, this will lead to Amazon Prime blocking VPN access. This will raise all kinds of red flags and force the HTTP proxy error to kick in. Fortunately, it's easy to solve. Just clear your cache and cookies. It's especially straightforward. For example, if you're using Google Chrome, just go to settings, locate your browsing data and get rid of it. You can even make sure Amazon Prime will never use your cookies. You can clear cache and cookies on other browsers as well, just with different steps. One more reason you can encounter an issue with Amazon Prime Video not working is DNS entries of your device, since Amazon can use them to figure out your actual location. While it's easy to fix, it's a bit technical, so please pay attention. Windows users, go ahead and press the Windows button plus R to open the Run prompt. Type CMD and hit Enter to open the terminal. There, type ipconfig slash flush DNS. Press Enter and wait for this message to pop out in the screen. Now, Mac users, click on Go in the top menu, choose Utilities, and find Terminal. Double-click to open it and enter the following command. Careful, it's a long one, so you can pause the video to type it. Once you're done, all you have to do is type your password and press enter. But your firewall or antivirus could still prevent VPN from establishing a connection. I'm not going to ask you to disable your antivirus though. No, just put the VPN app in the exceptions. This way, the antivirus will not interfere with its process. You do have to turn off the firewall though, but don't worry, most premium providers have security features designed to play the role of the firewall, so you are going to be safe. Finally, your VPN can be straight up incompatible with Amazon Prime Video. In this case, all you can do is confirm through customer support whether that's true or not. A lot of providers, especially free or very cheap ones, can access a limited number of streaming platforms and not always. So do your research and make a careful choice. Or watch the next section and pick one of the VPNs for Amazon Prime Video I've personally researched and tested, such as NordVPN. I've used NordVPN for Amazon Prime for a while now for multiple reasons. First of all, I can access a lot of servers, meaning less likely server overcrowding, and so many IP addresses that it's less likely they will get all blacklisted. Secondly, fast performance. The best VPN for Amazon Prime has to provide fast internet speed, and NordVPN uses the NordLynx tunneling protocol to do just that. In my tests, NordVPN has been the fastest provider by a significant margin. NordVPN's leak protection is also useful since it nullifies the chance of Amazon detecting that you are using a VPN. The downside is that it can only be used on up to six devices at the same time. NordVPN is a bit more expensive than some other providers, but it's good value and there's a 30-day money-back guarantee if you change your mind. If you check the link in the description below, you can actually get NordVPN with an even better deal. Another VPN for Amazon Prime that you can try is Surfshark. 
Surfshark is a great VPN for streaming because it covers 100 different countries with over 3,200 servers. That's less than with NordVPN, but the country choice always allows you to enjoy more streaming platforms. Surfshark speed is nothing to scoff at as well. It can be a bit slower than NordVPN, but I've not experienced any slowdowns or buffering when watching Amazon Prime videos. Plus, Surfshark can be used on any number of devices at the same time, so it's a good VPN to share with friends and family. Also, it's cheaper than NordVPN and still offers a 30-day money-back guarantee. So, go check it out. One more best Amazon Prime VPN option is ExpressVPN. It can rival Surfshark in terms of available countries and overcome NordVPN in that sense. It's a bit sad, I can't see how many servers they have anymore, but I assume it's a good number. After all, I've used it for a while now and I'm yet to encounter a blacklisted server. Out of my three recommendations, ExpressVPN is the slowest. That said, this speed was not an issue for Amazon Prime Video. I've experienced no slowdowns or buffering. ExpressVPN has recently expanded its simultaneous connection limit to 8, so it's better than NordVPN in that regard now. Still, ExpressVPN is a bit more expensive than other options on this list. It does have a 30-day money-back guarantee though, so you can use that to try ExpressVPN out. Anyway, I hope this video helped you fix your problems with Amazon Prime Video not working, and make sure to leave a like and subscribe if you did. I hope to see you soon in the next video. Bye!